Oh my goodness. I'm embarrassed to say that this is my pantry. Like, this is embarrassing. But look at this, you guys. Nothing makes sense. Nothing is organized. And I do mean nothing. Like, there was an attempt to do so at one point. You can tell, like, with these four here. Um, but pretty much nothing else makes sense um, at all. So, yeah. Sorry about that. The sprinkler's going and it's pounding on the house. Um, but this all is like from a grocery haul that we did last weekend and there was nowhere to put any of this stuff and we had a birthday party so we just shoved it in here none of this makes sense it's all getting like smushed and we need to fix that so all of these things go somewhere all of these things on the shelf need to be straightened out fixed organized and we are about to do it so i hope you're along for the ride i hope you'll subscribe if you haven't done so already and make sure to give this a thumbs up we are about to get organized and cleaned and decluttered from all the expired goodies in here so let's get to it make sure you let me know down below that you are here let me know your name and I want to know for today's question just let me know like what your favorite cereal is or if you hate cereal that's the, gonna be the question so let me know down in the comment section below and let's get to cleaning guys let's get to organizing I'm ready for this Okay, so right here I have everything, close to everything that I'm gonna be using to actually organize this heap of mess. Um, but basically, I purchased this from the Dollar Tree, so this was a dollar. I plan on putting all of our extra like K cups and like condiments and stuff that we bought extra of, keeping those in here, that way I have a spot that is only for our extras. And then I have this little noodle, like it's probably spaghetti or like angel hair pasta, whatever I have in there the most of. I'm gonna put that in here. I actually had this jar already, so I didn't spend any money for this, and I'm probably gonna use that for our rice. And then I bought a pack of three, so there's one, two, three of these little plastic bins. I bought those at TJ Maxx. They were like $14.99 for all three of them, so I thought that was a really, really good deal. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm gonna use those for, but... <laughs> We're just gonna keep rolling through this. So these little jars right here, they were so cute, I thought. They're glass jars with like little plastic lids, but the plastic lids are almost, like you almost can't tell that they have a lid on them. Just like from back here, they look like they don't have lids on them, which I thought that was really cute. Um, but I'm probably going to put like my water flavors in one of them, maybe snacks in the other two. Those were all from the Dollar Tree, so they were a dollar a piece. This right here, this, my sister gave this to me, so again, I didn't spend any money on that, and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm thinking all of my cooking essentials, like my olive oil, salt and pepper, just the things that I use all the time, probably gonna put that on that. And then this right here, this little wheelie cart, I'm gonna load up with our sons, our toddlers, like breakfast foods, his dinners, his snack foods, and that will eliminate so much Space on the actual shelves in our pantry because we don't have a huge pantry and I think it would be nice if we had especially if we had somebody over here watching him to be like yeah just take the card out and you can see clearly like what like what kind of foods he can have and what snack options are available to him as well so that's I loved the idea of having this I got this it's white you can't really tell the sun is super bright behind but it is white and I got it from Michaels for $30 I thought that was a pretty decent price and then this I actually got before we moved into this house, so it's been in the pantry, but not serving a great purpose because the pantry is a hot, blessed mess. But this I got, I believe, for $5.99. I got this either at, I want to say it was either at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. But that's a really good buy for this because sometimes I see them in the store for like $15 to $20. So six bucks was not bad. So that is all that I'm going to be using. Um, plus, Obviously, the containers that are in there right now, I'm gonna be keeping a majority of them in there just because, I mean, I don't need to just only use these. So anything that has like something with sugar in it already or powdered sugar or flour, I'm still gonna be using those. So yeah, let's get to organizing this mess. So here I'm taking everything out of the pantry literally everything I wanted to start from ground zero and part of that is always taking 
everything out, which is to me the most mundane process. Like I don't enjoy it ever, but it's so necessary and yeah. So I tried to speed this section up as much as I possibly could. This was a 20 minute filming section all condensed down into like two or three minutes and so anyway I apologize if my voice sounds a little skippy or bad or off I just watched the friends reunion and I'm a huge friends fan and I was weeping through it so <laughs> I won't say much but I thought it was so so good and I want to know if you guys watched the friends reunion what you guys thought of it um, obviously don't give anything away to anyone that hasn't seen it yet, but just tell me if you guys loved it or if you thought it was a letdown. I absolutely loved it in every single way, and so anyway, um, but moving on here, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of minutes, is just taking everything out and getting ready to be able to clean the inside of the pantry. Girl, you give me feelings in the summertime, something about the weather in July. But I'm about as fickle as the sands of time So I don't wanna call you mine There's a little amber in my heart that flickers Nothing seems to cultivate the flame I don't got a problem making conversation Sorry but that's where it's gotta stay Don't wait for me Take another drink Sitting back enjoying that tan complexion Wonder what your parents think There's a little look that you and all your friends give Everybody's got the same tattoos Whisper in my ear you wanna be my lover Problem is there's 20 more of you Don't wait for me The first step in organizing a space, I feel like, is going through and decluttering what either you don't need anymore or is expired. In this case, obviously, we're working with groceries, so food does go bad over time. Um, but just getting the things out that don't need to be there at all, kind of condensing everything down, just really, really, really helps in a huge, overwhelming organizational project like this one. Can we go somewhere? It's a little bit quieter than it is in a I'm getting to the point in this video finally where I'm starting to put food back into the pantry and you guys will see like a million different ways I'm going to try to arrange 
pretty much everything in here. And at the very end, I figured out what's what works, what's more practical, what's more realistic, and I kind of just did that at the very end. So now that I've got some st a little, I mean a tiny little bit of food organized, I have thrown everything that's expired away, and I have put everything and don't mind my messy house back here, but um, everything that's going to go in Milo's car, I will be organizing that, but I wanted to get it off the counter. So this is what's left. This is all the food that's left, which is pretty good. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, back there is containers and stuff that we can use, but they're not clean, so those little containers. And then um, over here by the back door is all my organizers and bins and containers and stuff, so we're going to start organizing now. I am ready, I'm so excited, and I hope you guys are too. You say you're not worth much, but I think you're worth much more than my wild. I just want to say one thing, if you are thinking about tackling this project in your home, don't think you need to go out and buy like a Cricut or anything like that. Obviously a Cricut would be amazing to have and I would love to be able to afford one of those and learn how to use it and everything, but that's just not realistic in my life right now. And so I had a small label maker and I thought everything looked really Pinteresty still and really cute and sometimes that's you know the effect we're going for you know we don't always have to be you know so frugal and so cheap with everything that you know we miss out on the cute stuff I think that we can still achieve a level of Pinteresty look even without going above and beyond and like doing you know going to the container store and buying all new containers or you know buying all airtight lidded containers and um doing Cricut machine labels and all of that, although that would be nice and I think they're beautiful, that's just not realistic to me in my life right now, maybe one day. But these little labels, they worked brilliantly and I love how everything turned out. So I'm just here to tell you, if you have a pantry and you're wanting to tackle that space in your home, just do it to the best of your ability. You can make it cute, make it whatever you want to make it and you don't have to be like, you don't have to spend any money on this project if you don't want it. You can simply just use what you have and just try to make it look as cute and as practical as possible. Just do what you want to do because it's your house, it's your pantry, do what works for you. But I just wanted to give that little piece of advice because I know it's so hard sometimes when we look and we see on YouTube and all of these um, bigger YouTubers, they, they do have the money to do that. And I think that's great. I really do. I think that's awesome. But sometimes we're kind of like, okay, well, my pantry will never look like that. And the truth of the matter is, is maybe that's not real for you right now. Maybe it will never be real for you. But the point is, is that you can still organize your pantry and you can still make it look cute and pretty. You don't even have to spend any money. So definitely just do it up. If you want to do your pantry, just do it. I, your life will be better because your pantry is better. I promise. Mine has, throughout this week, mine has just been so amazing and I have just felt so good about getting in that pantry and fixing meals and cooking for my family. I just felt so good about it and that's that's the feeling that I wanted. That's that's really what I wanted and so the amount of money I spent in this project, vested in this project, obviously was completely worth it to me because I am in that pantry a lot. I cook every single night, almost every night for my husband and our son for dinners and if I'm not cooking something from scratch I'm cooking something from a box or something some little meal or something so just 
do it what you need to do. And if you want to tackle that space and you don't have any money to do it, just know you can take a couple of hours and you can still get things in order, go through things, declutter things, and just make them look presentable and super nice. So I hope that for you. I hope that if that's the reason why you're watching this video today, I hope that you know you can still make your pantry look super duper nice. And don't forget if you do end up organizing your pantries, definitely tag me on Instagram. You can tag me in your stories. You can just tag me in your posts. But just let me know that this was motivating to you. And there's no better way to do that than to tag me. Or you can just simply screenshot this video and still tag me. I would love that. I'd love to hear from you guys on Instagram and connect with you over there. So definitely go get connected with me over on that platform. If I haven't said this yet, I will try to have things linked down below that I can, that I bought for this. Um, but these little jars from the Dollar Tree, you, they are so worth the dollar. They have held up so well. They have looked so charming and so cute in my pantry. And they've just done an excellent job for what I bought them for and also the price. You can't be a dollar for a jar. So... I'm going to have those linked down below for sure, but you guys definitely need to snag some, even not for just your pantry, but like I'm going to go out and buy some for other organizational stuff in our house, but they would be perfect for like cotton balls, maybe Q-tips in your bathroom, things like that. But I just love, love, love the Dollar Tree organization. Um, most of the time, my, my Dollar Tree does not have the ones that I want or the ones I see on YouTube, but still you can go online. They have most of the stuff on there. But anyway, I'll have it linked down below, and anything that I'm able to link down below, I definitely will. So make sure to check my description box. Taking a week just to engage with me, don't play with me. It's something here just ain't right, and I'm gonna need to hear you speak. Off your chest with all the details, and if you lie to me, Before I wrap this video up, and show you guys the after and what it all looks like in the end. I really wanted to hop on here and just say happy Memorial Day to those that celebrate that. And I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend so far. And I hope that you sincerely enjoyed this video and that it gave you a ton of motivation. If not to get your pantry done, but to get maybe a different project in your home tackled. But I hope that you will hit the red subscribe button below. Don't forget to turn your bell on so that you're getting notified for all of my future videos. If I hadn't mentioned before, this is my first video in this makeover series. I will be making over spaces and rooms, full on rooms. And my next room that I'm doing is a farmhouse master bedroom makeover. And I'm so, so excited about it. I've got some new furniture. I've got some rearranging that I'm going to do. I've got some new decor pieces that I'm going to put out. And I'm just really excited to freshen that space up to make it feel cozy and homey, which is what I like my bedroom to feel like. And I am so excited to share that new look with you guys. So be sure to turn your bell on for this notifications. And thank you so much for sticking with me. I know this was a bit of a long video, but I thought it was pretty necessary to put all these nitty gritty things in here. And also, it's so good to be able to hang out with you guys on a holiday weekend and also not be posting on a holiday. That way you can spend that time with your families. But I also have some really cool news to share with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be doing that on my community tab here on YouTube as well as my Instagram and my Facebook group. So be sure to check those platforms out so that you know what that special news is. And yeah, definitely leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of today's before and after. I'm so excited to know. And at last, it is finished. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
Look at this. Look at this. I cannot even believe it. So I've got my cleaners up here. Well, like my, you know, broom and Swiffer and duster and stuff like that. And then these are all Milo's things. So we've got some breakfast. We have so much of this. We don't normally have it like that. And I maybe I didn't explain at the beginning of this video. But all of this was like heaped over because we had a birthday party last weekend. We also had a 10% off of our entire order at Kroger. So we stocked up on a bunch of stuff. So this won't be nearly as full. Um, and this will be, some of this will eventually be Squeeze-Its because he usually eats one of these every morning with either a breakfast bar or a pack of muffins. Um, but we have some breakfast, or I'm sorry, some lunch or dinner options down here. And then Squeeze-Its, these are goldfish and some puffs. He doesn't really eat puffs too much anymore, but once we fill, once we finish this off, we probably won't buy any more for him. Um... All of his M&Ms are in there. Cotton candy, chips, you know, just snack foods down here. So this will be so much easier to try and, like, figure out what he has rather than it being, like, in these little buckets down here and everything's just, like, over top of everything and you just can't figure out what everything is or how much you have left of anything. Um, and then I put my potatoes down here. I think I read somewhere sometime that you should put your potatoes in like a dry, darkened area. So I thought I would put them in here. Um, because it's pretty dark down here in the pantry. And then obviously with the door closed, it's pitch black. Um, but this is all of Lewis's stuff. So she's just got a whole bunch of treats in this little basket thing here. And then her milk bone jar down here. So I was actually able to condense a lot of her treats into like bags and um, get rid of some and pretty much they I did not think that they were gonna fit in this thing because they were in this gigantic like tall white tub before um, but yeah there they are they fit perfectly and then up here I'm so excited about these bins you guys so some quick meals I just put quick meals because these are like some of these are side dishes but I also eat things like this for lunches like when I get home from work um, for my lunch because I usually come home on my lunches um, by the way if you hear Milo upstairs he is with my husband so he's just being a wild child today um, but these are box meals and then snacks again we don't usually have this many chips it's just because we had that birthday party last weekend and we actually, chip, we had chips, we bought chips for the party, and they didn't end up getting eaten um, that that much of them, so we had a ton left over. So those are chips, um, and then here's our cereals. I did put a miscellaneous cereal because these are Fruity Pebbles, but we don't always buy Fruity Pebbles, so we can fill those with, like, Reese's Puffs or, you know, whatever we decide to get. But we always get Lucky Charms, and we always get um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Up here... Oh my gosh, these turned out so good. I love them so much. Um, elbow noodles, penne, angel hair, and then I think ro rotini noodles back there. Yeah, back there. So there's four of them. And then my water flavors and my husband's G Fuel. Um, and then spaghetti back here and rice in this one. And then these are all of my jars, all of my canned foods, peanut butter and PB2 back here. And then I got my little turn, I keep calling it a turntable, basically like Lazy Susan type thing. Oh, we need to like move that up a little bit. There we go. Anyway, that's got all of my baked goods um, products on it. And then I've got brown sugar in here, all my little caramels that I melt in cookies sometimes or like brownies or whatever. And then I think that's canola oil, or vegetable oil back there, but I rarely ever use that. Um, but when I do, obviously I need it in here. And then um, we got pizza flour. This is actually called bread flour, but we only use it for pizza. And then white flour, powdered sugar, and sugar. And then up here is basically the leftovers of what we don't always use. So like bread crumbs, that's like super specific. And like you only need that for one specific type of meal. Same thing for chicken base. Same thing for pizza crust or like taco mix. So I put all those up there. Same thing for like cake mix and pudding. Uh, the cornflakes, we actually don't use those for cereal. We um, we make chicken nuggets with those. 
And then this box, or this basket, obviously you guys already know this, but that is just pretty much leftovers or extras of the things that we already have in here. So, this is it, you guys. I have not, <laughs> I have not been more pleased with a makeover I've ever done in my entire life. I'm so happy with this. So, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget every last Monday of the month, I will be having a room or space transformation. This was the first one in the series, so I will obviously have this video linked down below or I will have it at the end of the video, but I will still have my room space um, transformations, makeovers, um, playlist at the end of this video, so don't forget to check that out. There's some really, really good ones, um, some motivation to get you going and get you working on some spaces in your home. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Take it